Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Another week for What's Cooking with Chef Noel and this week we're going to make a fish dish. So fish with some tonka meal, you know, Jamaican style, but we're going to switch it up. So welcome to Jamaicans.com. This is What's Cooking with Chef Noel, all the way from Cuisine by Noel. Welcome, you know, to my home here in Toronto. And this is our little quarantine special, you know, while we're all at home. I'm just showing you some easy recipes that you can make at home and these are all you know Jamaican inspired dishes with a little twist so if you were watching last week we made a coconut braised chicken thigh with um what gnocchi right the gnocchi we did which is an Italian dumpling and this week we're going to make you know polenta which is tonkan meal, same thing, same difference, with um, a fish, um, so that I can pan fry the fish and make a beer blanc sauce. Now, for the sauce, it's um, a French inspired sauce, which means white butter, beer blanc. But instead, I'm going to use red stripe beer. So, the original recipe calls for white wine, so I'm switching to white wine and using beer so let's get cooking and remember to share this video like this video give me some art some reaction let's interact tell me where you're watching from you know tell me where you're watching from and what dish you want to see me make um, next week so leave your suggestion so these are all our ingredients over here so we're going to start off with our polenta we want to start off with our polenta first. So what we need, I like to start off with some butter first. Get that melting. A little onion, you know. So with all sauteed and get the flavor going. So it's extracting some flavors right there. Same thing for those. I use a stick on every one and never just you know take it out. I like lots of green onion in mine, which you know we call scallion, right? Some scallion. Get the flavor of that going. Then we just turn the fire on for our fish. Get some oil. So this week I'm using um snapper fillet. So I'm doing a snapper fillet over here. So I, you know, fillet these myself. And then I have a next fish over there which I remove the head. So I want to play around with those two and see, you know, what's up. So this now is the polenta, aka tonkan meal. So that's nice and you know simmering, releasing all the flavors. Then we need to add our coconut milk. I like to use half and half, so half coconut milk and half, you know, water as well. I'm using some warm water here. And that should be good enough. So I need to add some salt to this now. I'm gonna add a scotch bonnet pepper. Good evening everyone, welcome just in case you are just joining. It's What's Cooking with Chef Noel. It's Ton Khan Meal Week this week. When last you cooked some Ton Khan Meal? Need a little more salt. So I want to let that simmer now. So let's season now our fish in the meantime. 
So these are, you know, our fish fillet. Already washed with some vinegar and stuff. So we need to get a nice little, you know, nice seasoning on this. So we need some pepper. Watching from Brompton. Brompton in the house. Yeah. And then we need to get some in here as well. Shout out to Brompton. I know some people are gonna ask, where's the fish head? What happened to the fish head? Chef, why you move the fish head? I want to get some salt on these now. And that's all our fish need, just some salt and pepper. We don't need no, nothing else. All right, so this over here is going away fast. Miami, Florida in the building. You don't have to, but I'm adding some peppers to mine just for color. Just to give it some color and add some veg. So now it's time now for our fish. And for those of you who were asking last week, that's my um, cookbook over there. It's called Cuisine by Noel. It's 100 recipes and stories, and it's available on Amazon. You can get it. Brampton in the building. Donna from New York watching. So now we need to add our cornmeal over here now. So remember to share this video to any friend you think you know might want to watch or see what's happening. Share it to your page. So we turn this down low, put this on low so the polenta can cook and be creamy. So the fish doing them thing right there. So you see the pepper give it a nice color right there. Edmonton, yeah. So now for ton corn meal, so um in Italy now they will call this polenta. In Jamaica we call this ton corn meal, and the reason for that is because of the technique. So while you're cooking it. You keep on, you know, turn it and turn it and turn it and, you know, stirring, right? So we just said ton corn meal. A little fresh pepper.
And that's a nice color right there. Yes, man, Kimo, I go for your shirt pan. <laughs> one more right there you know because Kimoi said that she's going for a shit pan so we need one more fish for Kimoi Your tongue con meal, get in there. Get the smoke alarm going off, yeah. <laughs> I'm using eye flame. It's very sensitive. It's at the Food Network kitchen. I'm gonna say, don't burn on the place. We're gonna switch this a bit. So it's time now for the sauce for the fish. And I'm gonna use some red stripe beer. So remember, I'm making a beer blank, but this one is a beer blank. So, I'm using, so instead of white wine, I'm using a red stripe beer. So this is a ton of meal, Kimo I said, pretty, yeah man, lots of green onion and some thyme. And I put a little, you know, some peppers in it, give it some color. Don't need to add a little vinegar now in this. This is a little stabilizer, you know. This fish is ready. So what you need now is for this sauce over here now, just to just to reduce a bit. So that way, you know, we're gonna add some butter to it in small portion. Then last, we're gonna add some lime juice to it so it don't you know, separate. So remember, share this video. Time while these are you know reducing and cooking, we're gonna make a cocktail. So yesterday was Cinco de Mayo day. So you know it's all about cocktail and celebrating, right? 
So I made a pineapple, grilled pineapple and scotch bonnet margarita. I don't have any grilled pineapple today, but I could always, you know, make some. But I'm just gonna give you guys an idea of the cocktail. And then now I'm gonna add some, this is a scotch bonnet, simple syrup I made. So this is like quarter cup of sugar, quarter cup of water. Then I added, um, let these reduce, then I add my scotch bonnet pepper to it. So it's a bit sweet and a bit, you know, spicy. So something like 0.5 ounce of this. Not too much. Three little splash of, you know, lime juice right here. A little white rum going in. Then we top it off now with some pineapple juice. But like yesterday, I did like salt on the rim of that, and all you know, pineapple. Today, you know, this one has some bone, that one no bone. So, the fish is almost ready, or polenta is ready. The cocktail is there. The beer is just reducing with the onion, so I'm extracting the flavors now, you know, from the onion. And if I want, I could always add a little coconut milk to this or cream just to stabilize it. But the vinegar, add you know, some acid to it, a little acid. It. So if you just joined again, welcome. It's What's Cooking with Chef Noel. It's the second week we're doing it, and it's all about you know doing some of our Jamaican favorites, you know, with a little twist. So that's what it's all about. And today is just ton corn meal with fish, which we love, right? With a beer blanc sauce, which is us a beer blanc. I switch it, beer blanc. So I'm using. Red stripe here. We we'll always garnish, and that's our cocktail. But well, yesterday I had some salt on the rim. I'm in Toronto. I'm located in Toronto. One love. So we're gonna add our butter now to this. It's you know it's reduced it enough, so it's a butter sauce. And if you're cooking at home, you just want something different, you know. The alarm going off again. It should be good. You're in Maryland. Hey, Anthony. So we need to add our butter in small portions, you know, so it doesn't um, break the sauce. We need to turn this down low as possible, low, low, low. That was too high. 
We just have one little small window around here, so. So keep it on calm meal over here on a low flame. So you know, keep on cooking the cornmeal, you know. <laughs> one little small window around this uh. <laughs> a little small one <laughs> yeah. all right so I use salted butter so I'm just gonna use a little you know crap pepper a little small window <laughs> And our sauce is good, nice consistency. So what I do now is I can strain this. So if you go to a French restaurant, it's a sauce that they would serve. What I'm gonna do is you know add some thyme leaves to this so some person they use like tarragon or whatever but we like thyme right we are thyme people even though we're always late right yes man ton kami that's all idea So this is sauce right here now, and this is perfect on fish. And I'm gonna add a little um, lime juice to this just to give it a little kick. And that's the sauce right there. I'm gonna just get these out of the way, then we're gonna plate up and that's it for today. again do you have any question do you have any question any any question going on you like to ask You can also you can also visit my website it's um cuisine by noel and the link is there above for my um facebook page and you know my instagram i also have recipes you know here on jamaicans.com if you're interested in you know so that's our little polenta right there aka tonkan meal i mean i want to kill me you know and say yo That right there. These are edible flowers. I know you guys don't really like these stuff. 
But you know, these are edible flowers. These are edible. You see, where chef I put on the food, I wear them there. Yeah, and you just garnish shop here at home now. You can be fancy like Anthony as you looking. You know, Anthony can prepare something for, you know, his first lady. Your phone. Picture. Yeah, so this is it. And it's something different, guys, and that's the whole aim of the show is to show my people how they can just use the same thing that you have at home to just create something that's, you know, take it up another level, right? We need to eat different and see food differently, not just the regular steamed fish and okra. You know? Yeah, so that's the dish. You done. That's a snapper. Huh? So we're just doing some photos. Alright, Anthony say I love it. Zisha should love it. Keisha say it looks delicious. Kimoy say it look really good. Yeah. So just taking a little photo. So that's the fish guide. Nice little sear with the sauce. Give it that nice little acid, you know, flavor. And it's just butter and beer, salt, pepper, some onion. You know, so Mother's Day coming up. You can just wow mama with something. Yeah. And I'm happy you guys really like it. I was thinking really hard, you know, what can I do? That you know, that you guys will really enjoy. Alright, so we're gonna dig in, but for some reason I don't wanna spoil this one. Or maybe I don't wanna spoil this fish. Because I'm gonna do some photos after to post. So my IG is I am Chef Noel. The link is there, guys. You can follow. Yeah, so I don't want to spoil this fish. I'm going to do some photos after. So we're going to sample this fish. A little more sauce on it. That's, yeah, so this is the polenta, toncan meal. So, nice the flavors going on. The coconut milk and you know everything iry. The sauce, I'm tasting the red stripe beer. Let me just Yeah, I'm getting the red stripe beer, the onion flavor. And the fish was a salt and pepper really. Nothing fancy, um, but at the same time, it's something different. And if you want a dish like this, you could also make your steamed fish sauce on the side with the okra and the pumpkin and stuff and you could still present that same way nicely in a different way instead of just steaming the fish inside mm. that's a good one so my dinner set already so thank you guys for watching make sure you share this video leave your comment what you'd like to see me prepare next week as well as what else I'm missing you know like the page jamaicans.com you can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and you can also get my book on Amazon. It's 100 recipes, 200 pages with stories, and it's pretty affordable. So, thank you guys for watching. So, next week, same time, same place. Tell a friend, tune in, get your cocktail, and let's cook together. Alright? Bless up. One love.